So this is um, a bit of a non-game. This they're just moving, Pete shuffling the bishop backwards and forwards, and yeah, this is not going to be very interesting. But you never know; they may find those appropriate positions. It's just that that was a bit silly. It's just blocking the king from castling. But can we take advantage of that? It might be like a bomb cloud type, bishop cloud type thing or whatever. You do find that as well, you know, they'll do some silly moves and then next minute, bam, they're doing like grandmaster moves. Or they're doing moves that can beat Leela and all that malarkey. So it's just moving again with the bishop. So we'll just move the rook here, see if we can get, get developed. Maybe push it onto this pawn. Still got the x-ray through, so the knight can't move, so they're probably going to touch the bishop. Yep, so they've moved that bishop again. So the pawn potentially is winning the knight. This knight's protected by this pawn, so we don't mind doubling this pawn up. So we're going to take the queen, obviously. Like I said, this is going to be a special game. Alright, so where's the knight going? It can't really go here, so we'll just hit the knight, see where it's going. It's not going to go back here, it's probably going here. But you can never tell when you're playing a silly game. So it jumps back into the land of the pawn. Okay, let's get rid of this game. I'm not interested anymore. Let's smaller piece attack and higher piece. Don't need to overextend. Just sit back and wait for them to give the pieces up, I suppose. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Try and get the queen across. Maybe to even here because then we'll be hitting this pawn and hitting this pawn. It looks like we're going to be allowed that. I think they're trying to make space for this, but it might be too late. That's probably job done. Hmm. And take the knight off the board. Don't need to overthink that. Castle. Okay, we could push on to the knight. Brings his pawn back into line. It's obviously going to be hitting our knight. So I'm just going to take. I'm going to take. And take. So it's just a massive tape fest. So we can attack this pawn. It's just undoubled. So if they go here, yeah, they're not going to be wanting to do that. So we've got the two bishops. Maybe bring this bishop to block. X-ray through to their bishops. Got no protection. It's moved out of the way. Ready to attack the pawn. Let's just defend. I think this is probably coming. It's not coming just yet. Is it a missed tempo? White square bishop's not really doing much. Come here. Come here. Is it going to be too late? Let's get the rook here. Although that could be wrong, couldn't it? Because if the rook comes here... But he's not doing that. So we look to see if we can get bishops off the board. Maybe this bishop as well. Although that could be wrong as well. Because if the rook comes here, we can't actually take. Because he'll get a back ranker on us. But they've not done that. So they're attacking this pawn here. We can bring the rook down. Or bring this rook down. Because this is going to get hit. Right, let's bring this rook down, protecting. What's he doing? Is he, oh, he's going to double up. He's doubling up on the pawn. So if we pushed here, 
then they take, take, then he gets the back rank. We have to be stealthy, we can come here. Could hit their rook. Takes, takes, would be down a pawn. Positionally, is that going to be any good for us? Could push this pawn, stopping that pawn from dropping. Then he doubles. Then we bring the rook down here. It's looking a little bit equalized on that side. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm going to push this pawn. Bring the rook down, supporting. Only thing that can tantalize anything is this, I suppose. So he's looking to get one from side to side. So when this drops, rook can take, but then he can take this pawn here. The pawn can take. Shall we make some space now for the king? I think so. Make some more space for the king. Just move and then here. But then this pawn doesn't have any protection. So do we just go here? Let's go here. And if we push up and get the king up here. It is looking drawish, yes I know, but um, let's see what we've got. So we can't move from here because of the pawn. So if the king comes across, comes across, comes across, obviously it'll get checks on. Let's make it look a little bit active. We may just bring the rook round here and go for an exchange that way. No, they're stopping the king from getting active can't take what well, we can it's pawn for a pawn rook for a rook in a sense take rook takes rook takes rook takes king takes rook comes down let's look at the move order rook takes the rook obviously is going to take. We take another pawn. Now they're undecided as to whether or not they take our rook. Do they go back up again to attack this pawn and attack this pawn? Rook comes across to defend the pawn. Rook comes back down to attack. Rook takes. Rook takes. Looks like it could be a bit messy, but we might be a pawn up. Let's take. Oh, done nothing what we said. Damn, so they're going to get the pawn anyway. We can block their rook. I'm going to block the rook because we didn't expect any of that at all. Take with the pawn. His king's probably getting our pawn. Our king can come and defend whole different ball game we spent all that time doing that calculation and they did nothing what we said <laughs> unreal obviously probably in the subconscious our brain went well maybe that is probably the better option for us i'm just going to keep pushing now so we're going to get a queen And the king can't take the rook. This might be the long delay before a resignation, maybe. So that was pretty slick. Even though they did something we didn't expect them to do, the position was a lot better for us. Unless, of course, they didn't play it right. But from the end result of this, the positions ended up better for us. So I think the stronger manoeuvres were what we were calculating. So probably if they had done those types of things, they might have been better off. But I think they were going to be a pawn down. But either way, they didn't do any of that, so we reacted accordingly. 
yeah, this is the long break before they resign. In fact, they might not even resign, just let the time run out. So 15.10. And let's just push through the center here onto the pawn. Let's grab. Let's take the knight off the board, keep it dirt simple. Tempting to attack. We always say this. Let's just bring this bishop here. Just take. Don't need to get too arty. Put a check on the king. Simple stuff. Tack the knight. Tack the queen. Sorry, with the knight. X-ray through to the queen. <clears throat> All obvious simple stuff. Queen moves here, attacking the pawn. Doesn't do that. Obviously, you can't do that just yet because it's not supported, is it? So you'd have to do this and then bring the knight up. But for now, we're just going to go and castle. Small piece attacking a higher piece. The bishop does have a little bit of space to come and put a check on the king. But can't move just yet, so they'll castle, then they'll attempt to do that. Obviously, after they've moved the bishop. Thought it was going to come here for a bit of style. Attack the knight. Bishop x ray through to the queen. And we can take the queen. He's asked for a take back because the queen is just about to get taken off the board. And we will go no because we're Mr. Meanie Pants. And they've left the game. Okay, 15 10. As usual, let's hit the center. Let's just grab the pawn. Let's take the knight off the board. Don't get embroiled in that. Just bring the bishop through like we do. Old school for us. See how much of the old school we can get in this game. Ooh, let's just go here, tap him up. Probably going to get more old school than I guarantee. Mm, let me see, let me see. Let's go here. Old school aggression. Let's get the knight out. Let's castle. It's got like a two on one with the rook. If he's thinking bishop coming attacking the queen, but it does block that pawn so the queen can sit here for a moment. Move the knight instead, tacking the queen. Queen's defending the bishop. That's a nice strike, actually. So we could take the bishop, so that's a piece. And then if he takes our queen, then we take the queen as well. So we would have won two pieces in a sense. So I'm going to go with that. Although he does get the bishop back. Could attack the rook but the pawn's just going to drop could get rid of the bishop altogether let's just bring the bishop here right time to think so they're moving quick looking for the pawn but there's nothing else on the pawn at the minute smaller piece attacking a higher piece dark squares are safe now 
bishops off the board. Ooh, momentarily blocking in their bishop. Knight could come here to attack this pawn. It's got no protection. Gives them something to think about. It's just a shame the knight is there blocking this. Because one of the rooks is going to defend. Oh, they're not. But he's got a pawn. So if we did go here, we're on his rook. So we will get a rook off the board. And they've resigned. 1510. Let's get the knight out. Let's try and prevent the fried liver, but it doesn't fully stop it. Because once you develop the knight, then the knight can still jump here. If they're wanting to go for the knight and bishop for a rook. Let's take. Let's push. a deep think already <sighs> I think this will be the last one for today we've had had a half decent run yet again I'm not sure this player's making another move, you know. This is taking too long now. Deep think for that move. Interesting. Wow, this is a serious player. Okay, let's put serious mode on. Hmm. It's castle. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the golden square. Knight and the bishop managing this square. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's always tempting doing that, but then it kind of just gives them that permission to just block it down. Could hold this to ransom, but then it just goes here. Anything for them to think about. Give the king some company. Up. Bishop comes here. Let's get the rook. Start the process for owning the file. If we can. Hmm. Let's just take it, keep it simple. Let's um, make space for the rook, because I think it's better the rook's owning the file than the queen's. And they may not go for the queen exchange. And if they did, we'd probably be in a bad way. And we probably wouldn't, but I prefer to just see if we can get the rooks involved. If we can get the bishop out a little bit. So I envisage obviously he needs to make space for the queen. So I think he's thinking of speed trying to come across. And maybe to here, so then at least the rook gets to here. Because if he moves the bishop, then he still has to move the queen because they're still going to put the check on. Suppose the queen can then come here. So they've got options. Could come down here with the bishop, but I don't think that's going to be a good one. Maybe just bringing the bishop here so that it can sit itself either here or here. Like we said, he knows the rook's going to come and put the check, comes here. And then there can be some sort of rook exchange going that way. And as we know, nobody does what I calculate. And it's very shocking and surprising when they do. So the queen is up, so he's done what we kind of said. He's moving the queen out of the way so it can get the rook here. So we're still going to continue with the rook putting the check here. So then at least we can take. Then at least then the bishop is going backwards a little bit. So it's only like a two two step calculation. Uh, from the start to this position here at this moment in time. If not really had to bust over for a four move calculation. Not that we want to. Maximum is four for us. Oh, the queen moves, so he's not actually going to be looking for the exchange. Well, he can still, obviously he can still. Looks like an odd position, doesn't it, putting the queen there? Um, we are wanting to do this. Is there something better? You have to ask yourself why. Why? It's not... Da, 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 da. Look up. No, it loses tempo. Just going to carry on with what we were planning, which was trying to get the bishop into some type of diagonal. At least it's got some type of play. I know it's going to get blocked. Oh, this feels like a proper long play game. Nice one. 
Yeah, same type of position that we did say was potentially going. I mean, the rook can now go and lean on the bishop. And then it's attacking this pawn. But has he got a magical thing with the queen coming here? I don't really think so. No, I think we could go with the rook going there because the queen was supporting the bishop. Maybe the rook comes to defend. Yeah, that's a possibility. That is a possibility. Nope. So, the queen comes across, overworking the queen. Is it going to make any sense bringing this here? I don't know, you know. So if we bring the queen here, and then he goes and challenges, that's not going to work out for them, is it? Because we can take, if the bishop takes, then we get a check on the king with the queen, so they lose the bishop. So what is this queen really doing? Let's do it in the hope that they bring the rook here, thinking they're getting a combination. Just gonna have to jet. Oh no, blockage! Blockage on aisle six. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh that's savage, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear me. I didn't even see that at all, did I? That's a nice move. Take. King takes, or the bishop takes. Oh, gonna have to just take the bishop with the rook, aren't I? Yeah. That's okay. With this flat bishop. Oh, I don't lay out much hope. Okay, let's x ray, put a two on. Not x-ray, just put a 2 on one on this pawn. Rook comes to defend. I don't know why. I mean, I've got used to using the bishops and the knights, you know, and use them equally, the equal strength and stuff, but I'm not really sure why people say bishops are stronger than knights. Um, they're not that flexible. You know, in my head, they're like a little bit too flat for me. Uh, okay, right. Let's hit this pawn in the corner. See if we can make the bishop work. They're stronger than the knights. No, they're not. <laughs> it all depends on the circumstance on the board. I made a boob there, but see if we can rectify it. So they have dropped. The queen does not have any protection on them at this moment. Rook doesn't have any protection on it at the moment. We could swing across here, attacking the rook. Still attacking the pawn. It's kind of like nugatory checks on them. I'm going to just bring it here anyway. They might forget themselves, you don't know. So we've still got the two on one, so he probably has to do this to keep the two on one. If they lose their mind, maybe they go here. We get a check on the king with the bishop, something or the other. That was a nice bishop. Oh, okay, right. So they've gone for it. And they have a right lot to do. Their queen doesn't have any protection. So if they decided to push, we can take. Let's have a look at the scenario. If we did take, then the rook would take, definitely. Well, in fact, the queen could take because he's got the rook. So it's definitely not that. I can't squeeze in. If I got here, I could squeeze in, but the pawn is there. Oh, interesting times. If we did bring that there, if the pawn took, then we get the queen off the ball for free. So maybe we could scrabble a draw. 
I don't know if it's a draw. If we get here, then he's moving across. And then we're attacking and he's... Oh, might be checkmate. Never mind a draw. Ooh, that would be slick if that happens. I bet he moves his king first. Because then when we go here, then he's got time to move there. Then we go here, then he's going to escape. Actually, you know, if we do go there, then the pawn can just take the bishop anyway. So that might not be a good thing, but I think if they do go, what do we do? This queen's still under threat, but if we went like that, like we said, if the pawn can now take, because our queen is no longer on their queen. Well, let's hope they don't find that move. It would be nice and slick if we got that one off. I'd probably just have to bring the bishop here. If they do that, we'd have to probably bring the bishop here just to block. And then it's just not the same anymore, really, is it? Hmm. It's a big thing. Trying to rectify the bad movement that we made in the game earlier. And this is the only opportunity we've got. Of trying to squish the king. Come on, just take the bishop. It's only fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is the queen move? That must be job done then, isn't it? Because we go here, he goes there, and then it's... Oh, it's not checkmate, is it? Because he goes here. Oh, you know, you try and create the win in your mind. Yeah, it's not exactly checkmate. Boom. In fact, it could just go here anyway. So that's probably what they're going to do. And then we can go back again with the queen. But then he can't go there, so he goes here. So he goes there. And we've not got a check on... Ah, uh, yeah, that's when we lose out because we won't have another check on them. <laughs> there must be something... But, oh, I'll just... <laughs> it's going to take the ball, but we're in the same situation. Check. Comes here. Bishop puts the check on. He comes here. He's not going to do that though. But if he does, there's nothing to do, is there? There's no squish. I cannot see it. Oh, damn it, damn it. The rook doesn't have any protection, but I can't get to it. Check. The ideal scenario would be them going there, but now we've realised they've got an escape square here. I don't think they're going to do that. Either. They're going to come here. Oh! That's checkmate, dude. Oh, no, I keep saying it's checkmate. He could just come here. Will you stop it now? That's me wanting it so badly. If I brought the bishop here, then that would be checkmate. But I don't think we're going to get time. If we bring the bishop here, and then he moves one more. He can't move one more. So bring the bishop here, and then that's got to be checkmate. His queen can't do anything. Or it could come down for a check on our king. We can go here, but then there's no more checks on the king. And then that's checkmate. Yes! We've done it! I'm sure we've done it this time. And that's all because they actually moved there. I think they... If they moved there, we would have been in trouble. It's always that one move in these sort of positions. You have to nail it.
Oh, brilliant. But it's not done. They might find a magical move that I have not thought of and I'm think sat here going, yes, we've done it from a bad position, um, losing a piece in the wrong way. It's, it's turned out okay. Trusty Bishop. So I've got a bit more confidence with the Bishop now and it's done. No, it's not done. It's escaping. <laughs> oh, I'm sick of this game. But the Queen can come here, can't it? And then, oh, but then he still gets away here. Oh, this is horrible. Man, I'm sat there celebrating. Oh, come on. Oh, he's escaping. Oh, this is sad. This is sad. He can go here or can go here. Can't even take this. The Queen's defending. Oh, shabby times. I cannot believe it. I thought I had it nailed on there. Oh, man. Oh, how gutting is that? How gutting is that? He'll probably come here to save the rook. So he'll come here. And he's on a white square. My dark square bishop is not going to be any help. And then I've got no more checks apart from the queen coming here. But then the rook can just defend. And then I can go backwards and forwards maybe. Potential draw. Oh, shocking. Well, a draw was better than nothing. But it looks like they're going to find the magical... The magical moves. Could actually lose his queen, you know. But he's going to bring the rook to defend. I'm hoping he's just going to jump back there. No, he's not doing that. So he's going to escape. He's going here. Maybe put a check here. That would be a problem for them. That might be checkmate, right? So the rook's going to have to go backwards and forwards. Uh, oh, he's gone there. Checkmate. <laughs> yes. I've never been so happy in my life. Oh, well played. That was a fantastic game. That's the last game for today. Cheers.